Danny, nothing about be prepared it. for success. Dude, yeah. I'm excited. I'm Colored really buttons. Excited. You got a fucking, you got a you're DJ gonna have, board. You're going to have rich chocolatey tones. Oh, I can't wait. I yeah. cannot wait. Yeah, you like your voice needs any more. You uh, yeah, success. you listen to the podcast, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girls are just putting it on. Like, putting their phones yeah. on their phones. <laughs> oh, cool. Tommy yeah. and Chris <gasps> did an hour with a foghorn. <laughs> 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 Just oh. listening to every other comic, and then as soon as Dan yeah. starts speaking, like, well, it's weird to write <laughs> jokes. You gotta really. <laughs> 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 Dude, Did I you wish get into I had the uh, bassy voice? Israel Palestine conflict I'm too on too po- on podcast. Me too. Yeah, I'm Me too, too stupid. Uh, no, this is the first time I've talked about it. This will be. Uh, I'm I'm dumb. No, no, you, this is why you don't. Yeah, 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 you can't. I, uh, <laughs> dude, this I was, is like a dad. I'm, and a, I'm still sure that Iraq's got weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> if you are not, my mind's made 100%, up. <laughs> dude. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure Iraq did 9 11. So, I don't know if you guys want to get great into marketing it. Yeah. On, on their behalf. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's stuff where you, I don't understand it at all, and I'm like, I'm not gonna try yeah. why would i try <laughs> yeah dude and there's I was, playoffs yeah. i was joking, ar- I was joking around with i was joking around with tuma that like just because uh fucking i think jaw ruler or whatever they asked Great. jaw rule, <laughs> Great. Asked ja rule always <laughs> that's the only good journalism left is asking these dipshits yeah. very complicated yeah. questions yeah. Like, he's like uh i don't know yeah, yeah. Yeah. no and i guess well, i'm tom rule i mean it's the same <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> you ask me i gotta admit yeah. I'm, a, I'm a 90s hip-hop artist yeah dude i love i love first off corduroy cholo thank all, you all the way buttoned thank up thank you so much <laughs> yeah. Like this. Yeah. What's up, dude? You're you're little formal. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> What's up, baby? That's little formal. I represent formal. South America today, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, you got a quinceanera you're going to. We're coming up. Corduroy. We're coming up, man. bro, you look nice. Yeah, it's getting Cold. job interview show. <laughs> <laughs> where, where do I see myself in 10 years? Still representing it. <laughs> still, uh, still throwing down for this company, bro. <laughs> I still I'll say this again The biggest bust I ever had Was Was Shane I wore a turtleneck <laughs> so like, he, goes, oh. he goes Look at Steve Jobless <laughs> That you, hit me so hard you, I shrunk an inch dude. You strike me I was me, like 5'11 dude. You strike me as a guy That could wear A turtleneck With A necklace Well On top well, let's oh, go. He did. This is my next. You did. Yeah, yeah I've done Chris, once. Or, Chris, and I try that. We look like minor leaguers that lost a bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Which, like, did you have to dress up like one of your Dominicano yeah, yeah. teammates yeah. or come, Spaniard? Come last yeah. in your fantasy yeah. football league. Yeah. You're the most fashionable out of the three of us. Spending easily. spending your whole signing sign on bonus on, <laughs> yeah, on, a, on, a on one link. outfit that you'll never get to the fucking minors. I love it. I love it. How pumped are you guys for Phillies right oh, now? Dude, it's so yes. fun. It's so they're just like it's. They're a video game team. Yeah. Yeah. It's but I start to get worried like how, you know, can you keep this up? Yeah. This is like an unbelievable the, amount of consistency. The biggest worry in football, I mean in baseball, the especially in the playoffs, is you don't want to sweep a team and have the team you're about to play go seven. Yeah. Because then yeah. they come in yes. white hot. Yeah. yeah. The same thing what happens with wild card teams. Yeah. And they the other the first place team sport. gets yeah. It's just if you're warmed up. Yeah. That's how the Giants won three World Series. They would like take seven to beat the Cardinals in the NLCS and then get to the World Series when the, the American League won in like three or four. Yeah. And then they just win. Yeah, well, the yeah. other team's been off for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, the season's still going on? <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, you want the break for the I, pitchers, but you, you, everybody else you want, just keep mowing. Yeah. Keep mowing. I'm Those also... Boys. This Philly team is so fun. Right now, but they got the first away game they've had in a while coming up. I'm nervous about that. You know what's crazy is the Rangers have played like two away uh, two home games in seven games in the playoffs there's seven and oh in the playoffs and only two of those games have been at home holy shit yeah i'm not worried about that i wouldn't what? be i i mean i think it's gonna be rangers phillies i think so too i would love but that. bruce bochi you gotta worry about <laughs> bochi 
Bochi can wear a chain outside of a turtleneck. God damn right. Yeah, yeah. Bochi could probably use the N-word. Is he the manager yeah. for the oh, yeah, or something? Yeah. Bochi's so old school that if they, they'd be like, I don't know, yeah. man. <laughs> he doesn't wear socks and he wears cleats. That boy. <laughs> Seriously? No, I don't know. Oh, God. I thought he had I just imagine. stink lines coming off of like a cartoon when he peels those things off. Just a natural blur <laughs> it, like, it, 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 yeah. over his mouth whenever he says oh, it. Oh, yeah. He's like, <laughs> boom. He goes, Why are you guys getting all weird about it? <laughs> He's been doing it for 30 fucking years. <laughs> there's, there's like he just he's a great manager. He just loves saying the N word. Yeah. I mean, I feel like those are the best managers. You the know old I mean? Remember just Jim Leland? Guy. Leland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, His yeah. mustache has so many N bombs on it. He would just smoke Marlboro lights. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember when this was a white man's game. Oh, yes. Just a push through mustache <laughs> with nothing but fury. Oh, dude. And Miguel it. Cabrera just coming up and be like, shut up, Jim Leland. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's a goddamn home run. You can have as many DUIs as you uh, want. Yeah, coaching the Detroit Tigers. Yeah, dude. He was awesome. And also, think, Miami's playing the Eagles this weekend. I know. I know. Daniel. I, well, I'm more hyped. I mean, you know me. December You're 3rd. San Fran still, right? You're San Fran. Yeah. And then Miami because yeah. you're a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, specifically with the Eagles, December 3rd, oh, 49ers, yeah. We're going. Uh, going. Eagles. We're going. You going? Will, no. Well. No. No. How do people outside of Philadelphia understand this? We don't want to go to your stupid fucking stadium. You guys are mean. You're mean. <laughs> you, who's it's mean not right fun. now? I who's am. Because I'm outside of that goddamn collection. No. I walk backwards hive. to get you a coffee By with the way, cream. This is We're, so good. We actually, this is so, but, thank you. This is so good. Yeah, they're not mean. You Can just I just not, stop my being mean and say, <laughs> yeah. "We're yeah, shit gears, Dan." No, you're just not I allowed love, to enjoy yourself while you're there. That's the only rule. I just don't want to. Be worried I'm going to have to you just, fight you won't. at any moment. This is a... Tommy, this I went... not real. First season of the of 49ers having Kyle Shanahan, we were like 0-6 playing you guys, 0-5. C.J. Beathard was the quarterback. It was an absolute... I think it was the year you guys might have won the Super Bowl. It was the year you, you just dominated us. People were still talking shit to me down 38 <laughs> nothing. Yeah. And they're like... You kill him! Just screaming. <laughs> My favorite thing that happened at the Eagles yeah, yeah. game. Were you decked Take out? Your foot off the gas. No, yeah. I had a poncho on because it was raining most of the time. I had a red. They saw the red. You guys were like, uh, yeah. that's how I yeah. much. You guys it were was animals. Just like this. It was just peeking yeah, out. Was, <laughs> your, <laughs> eyes, <laughs> your eyes are too bloodshot at a 49ers game. Yeah, they're they like, go. who are you fucking <laughs> rooting for? Yeah, are you? <laughs> it's like, no, like the Coke and the What's your problem? Are you from the Bay Area? And you're like, <laughs> no, I grew up in Colorado, but I like the 49ers. Yeah, no, I'm on Oxys, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, was, it was wild. My favorite thing that happened was we still had Eric Reed, who was taking a knee during the um, national, national anthem. anthem. And... Man, that national anthem started, and Eric Reed and a couple of those Niners took a knee. And the funniest part to me was what they were yelling because yeah. everyone was like, "Get the fuck up! Yeah. Stand up! Yeah. Stand the fuck up! Yeah. It's disrespectful!" And I was yeah. like, "You guys are yelling during the anthem, yeah. like the national anthem is being yeah. said, and people are screaming, and you're going like." This is more disrespectful 100%. than this guy just taking a quiet knee. It was <laughs> yeah. so funny. Yeah. I was having such a, I was like, oh, I, was, I was like stuffing my shirt under my poncho. Like, hey, check this fucking guy yeah. out, huh? Well, yeah, you don't my be uncle like killed like, yeah. innocent Vietnamese <laughs> children for me. Yeah, shut up. My uncle wiped out a village off the Danang. <laughs> no, like, you know how like college has, has like the band in the corner? Yeah. We, we have like a plumber's. <laughs> yeah. You guys do pipe fitters 213. <laughs> and they're like, dude, they go sing a song to them after, after every day hey, hey, it's it, it just wouldn't be you're I, kneeling next to that you're getting yeah the game oh, for yeah. me 49ers eagles is going to be so much fun to watch because there's so much on the line you guys shane jay all my friends that are like eagles fans no way i'd want to go i'd go if it was in san francisco I don't because know. You, feel you got the it? cholos now. I'm sorry. You didn't know that, did I'm you? St I'm starting. I got to put a button back up. But we I'm starting to get worried. <laughs> I'm starting to get worried. I did this for the, the, the red bit, but this is a for real thing. Yeah. I'm starting to get worried because the, the last game was very concerning because with you signed, Hurts. You just signed Julio Jones. Yeah. You have the best. Julio Jones. Dude, they still got dust, gas. Literally dust him off. Yeah, out that's of great. That's like one of these, these records where they go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's, let's see what this has got. <laughs> let's see if the Bee Gees <laughs> run just as well. It's like yeah. those old dummy songs. I'm excited, though. McDaniel taking you guys on. Miami's a very fun team and my number two team. It's number, offense it's versus one, defense. It's, you know what it is? 49ers are 1A. Dolphins are 1B. 
because I'm I'm very proud of McDaniel. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's going to be a fucking game. Yeah. I don't know. I think your defense is better than Miami's. It but is, I, but I think but Miami's offense is better. Than but that Miami offense it's is like deadly. It's insane. It's so fun. He's it's just, like the Eagles. He's off- just in or, his office, like do, 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 just drawing shit up, dude. It's a Phillies lineup right now. Yeah. You guys just have weapons. It's top nuts. to bottom. I always want to know how that guy spends his day working on football. It's just all football. Off all season, day. he's normal. Once training camp starts, don't try to text him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got to text his wife. You got to go through the proper channels. <laughs> yeah, he ain't gonna pick up. He is literally working all the time. We went down there for the Broncos game when he put up seventy on them. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, was that, the... that was personal. There was something no. personal there. No, they just yeah. He moves like he, he really is like so analytical that everything was like, oh, I'm gonna it. Like how he explained it to me it was just everything worked. Yeah, yeah. He was like, everything worked. It's like playing Madden and all your plays work. You're playing your little brother and you're yeah, like, you're yeah, not yeah, stop yeah, this yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, I don't think, what I've noticed from knowing him as long as I have is it. it's what we feel for the NFL, they don't feel. Yeah, what? It's like, machines. It's like porn. You know, when you start watching porn and you're like, oh, these guys have sex all It's a job to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. not, they don't take it like, He's not like, oh boy, the Broncos. Yeah. He's like, whatever. I got to run this. I'm going to run this formation yeah. against if they My show this. Slop. It's just like how yeah. you don't think coming up with a new play is like writing a new bit. That's or exactly yeah, it. For yeah, him. yeah. Oh no, he loves that shit. Yeah, he's got that mind too. That's why he's funny. He like creates stuff. He loves like creating stuff. I asked him that. I was like, how is it this season? He's like, it's so much fun because I'm I'm in. I'm like locked in. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah, it's fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Definitely fun to watch. Yeah, it's. Uh, I hope he wins the Super Bowl. I'm afraid to spend that money for that game to get. I'm going to wait until the next couple. Chris Sunday has, night too. Chris right? already has tickets. For I already it. bought tickets. It's yeah. Sunday night at the Link. I yeah, think so. yeah, eight twenty. I yeah. love it's a Sunday night God. game. I'm gonna get home from Rochester, dude. Should, our next our next lineup is what? It's uh, Miami, Dallas, the Bills, San Francisco, Niners, Dallas again, <sighs> and then finally we get a break. We get the Giants and Washington. But one of those two teams beat us every year. Yeah, that's yeah. like that's like the Niners with the Cardinals and the Rams. Yeah, you're going to lose to a team Seahawks that's the, so less. Seahawks and the Cardinals always steal one. How great's October? It's the greatest month. Dude. Dude. I don't even think it's up for debate. Give no. me another month no. that comes close. Maybe December because everyone's a little nicer because of uh, Jesus' birthday. Yeah, early February if you're in the Super Bowl is the only comparable But that's feeling. even like... And that's not even... But you get the ride. You so know that's what? Multiple the, Super, months. the Super Bowl of February is like being drunk, getting a ride home, and someone gives you an extra beer, and you're like, this is the best. Yeah. And then the next day you're like, this that yeah. was horrible. Yeah, yeah I feel not like need that. That's <laughs> fucking yeah. New Year's. Yeah. So it's the last big event that you give a shit about, yeah. and then you're in squalor. That's why I love. You got to pretend you like the your hockey team. Oh, I mean, I'm getting shit. into hockey though, dude. Yeah, you're, who's your squad for hockey? Boston Bruins because of the lady. Oh, I was a free agent. Katie oh. likes the Boston Bruins. Obviously. Their family is a huge hockey family. Yeah. So now I'm in because I was like, I was like the girlfriend. Did I ever tell you guys that Bill Burr story? No. About uh, Sam Marill and Joe Mackey were having a birthday party at Playwrights. Yeah. Near Caroline's, that bar. Yeah. yeah. And I like had like one spot at like, it was a Friday night. I had one spot at like 7 p.m. I love that bar, by the way. And then, yeah, it's Upstairs, great. Upstairs, corner oh, by the window. Great. See you. You can just look out. That, both floors. Yeah. I love, I yeah, love yeah. playwrights yeah, when I was yeah. drinking. Yeah. Um, so I have one spot at like 7 p.m. and then a spot at the cellar at like 1.45 in the morning. Yeah. Had nothing to do. And Sam was like, come by this birthday party at playwrights. I was like, great. I show up and both of them are like, yeah, Bill Burr's over there watching the Stanley Cup. And I was like, what? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, Bill Burr's over there watching the Stanley Cup. I was like, really? Yeah. And I walk over there and I kind of know Bill. I don't know Bill that well. But I walk over there and he's like, what's up, Danny boy? Take a seat. And it was the Bruins Blackhawks. So it's his team. Yeah, yeah. Playing the Blackhawks and it's an unbelievable series. I've never felt like more of a bitch than oh, sitting my- there being like, who are we cheering for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that energy where I go, yeah. are the good guys winning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know shit about hockey. Why'd they blow the whistle on that? Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, he's like, that's a four check. <laughs> it's like, it's like annoy, you're annoying Bill Burr the way his <laughs> wife does in his bits. Where he's like, well, I go, he 
looks happy. Oh, he looks happy. <laughs> you're like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I, the I, last dude you want to look like that? Oh in front my of? god, yeah. the last one of my heroes. Yeah, and I got to look just like an absolutely like a nutless freak. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is yeah. fun. But I like. I hope they don't use the buckles like on rollerblades. <laughs> Do the, are the blades sharp? <laughs> Do they ever cut each other? <laughs> yeah, it's just absolutely dumb shit. But yeah, I that was like, all right, maybe I'm cool. I don't need to know hockey, and I just yeah. have been floating around. Dude, but Katie's it's fun. Family. Bruins games are fun as fuck. I went to one after Thanksgiving. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah, it was so much because their family has season tickets. Yeah, and they've been going for years. It's so undeniably the sport that if you don't play it, didn't grow up enjoying it as much. If you go watch it. You're like, I was wrong. Joe List took me is... to an Islanders Bruins game on Long Island like fucking eight years ago. In the yeah. barn. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it's it so was me, great. List, and Gary Veter. And I like left and I was like, that was fucking great. <laughs> yeah, it'll change yeah, your dude. thought process. Yeah. yeah. Live hockey is unbelievable. Yeah. And they're the toughest motherfuckers. Yeah, dude. it's crazy. Yeah. So I'm like, Katie's whole family, her brother was awesome. Her brother Kevin was awesome at hockey. They're like a whole hockey family. Yeah. He still plays like intramural stuff. And it was like, oh, well, I'm a total free agent. Yeah. And we don't have any teams. It kind of hurt my cred, McDaniel going to the Dolphins, because they're Pats fans. Yeah. So now twice a year, I got to be like, sorry, my friend's toasting your squad. <laughs> <laughs> they had their time. It's yeah, okay. Your years. friend can get By a By the way, wins. Boston yeah. sports fans. Yeah, no you've one, had your fucking... No one, no one feels bad you're Man, losing. Thank now. you, yeah. dude. You had... Two Outside decades. of that fucking 198, they haven't won since 1918. The Babe Ruth trade, all that shit. I wanted the Red Sox to. I was like rooting for them. The way I yeah. would root for the Jets. Yes. Oh, for the way I'm rooting for Miami in a way, right? The way I'm rooting for Cleveland. Cleveland. Or Say it. Any Detroit. Detroit. The Detroit. Lions are. The Lions have that 04 yes. Red Sox heat right now, yeah. Yeah. where everyone's going like, these fucking guys are doing it. Yeah. And they're fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. But people refuse to understand. Like, Boston still had the Celtics. The Bruins were fucking deadly. The Celtics got one. The Bruins got a couple. The, the Red Sox got three. And then the Patriots were winning one every other year. Yeah, I meant the previous two decades. Yeah. Boston was always a force. We were just worried about the, the Red Sox not getting a win in a hundred and something years. You know Who what, gives though? a shit? I, it really, it's, I think that's like, a, I call that like the Duke effect. Where like Duke win was under Coach K, Duke was just winning so much that you're like you're the villains. Yeah, you guys yeah, suck because yeah, yeah, you yeah. win all the time. Yeah. So it's not it's the, what the Yankees were in the late '90s. Yeah. It was easy to hate the Yankees. Well, that's, that's what why the that Patriots old, are now. Everyone's yeah. like boo hoo. Yeah, you're like I you guess ha you you had everything. Yeah. Yeah. You want like Philadelphia yeah. is a sports city where you guys are you guys are starting to be like Boston when they started winning. Because you guys are like, you got the you got the Super Bowl with the Eagles. That was like a little drop in the bucket. But now it's, last season, you had the Phillies in the World Series, Eagles in the Super Bowl. You guys lost them all. Yeah. But it means you guys I'll are hear close. This. I'll yeah. hear this out. You guys are, I'm but telling you right now, a couple of those hit on that ticket. If you get a Sixers title in the next two years, another Eagles Super Bowl, and the Phillies win one. Are you going to compare us to fucking Boston? I'm going to start saying Daniel. you guys are making that switch. Daniel. That would be Give me the coffee. phenomenal. <laughs> I'm mean, it's a great that thing. Be, it's no, a no, problem. No. Yes, but people don't understand like that that Super Bowl championship was unbelievable, win, right? Before that, we were NFC champs four years in a row. Yeah, we won the division like six or something. I don't I don't know exact numbers. So we were winning consistently, just never got the chip. The last time we got it was nineteen. We lost in nineteen eighty to the Raiders. Well, before that Eagles team won, you guys hadn't been in the NFC championship game since Andy Reid. Yes, yeah. those three in a yes, row. Yes, and people. That was like a run. Listen, the Niners just did that run. Yeah. The Niners have done th three NFC championships in four years. Yeah, you guys are going to be dirty for a long time. But it's like, it, th this might be it for us. This nah. might be the last. You got to re-sign. Trent Williams is in his last year. There's a lot of guys. I it's love watching him. Speaking of Eagles Niners, I love when Trent Williams gets physical and it scares other grown men. <laughs> <laughs> when he fucking threw your guy 42 after you guys were already winning and we got in that scrap at the end and Trent Williams just hucked a grown man yeah. and you see him walking back to the locker room and whoever's on the Eagles staff is like, I know, buddy. I know. <laughs> and then last week before the Browns fight, he's you not see even supposed to be touching it. <laughs> what is that? He was mean. <laughs> but last week, they're walking to the, they're like Browns, Niners, are getting into it, and you see people, and then you see he comes you just spiraling. See it, and you just see the whole group be like, yeah. "All right, we're kidding, we're <laughs> yeah. kidding." Well, we got a couple of those yeah. guys now. We got a couple of those gorillas. You guys got a, I They're mean, fucking dude, monsters. I'm very excited for Eagles 49ers. Yeah, 
I'm very, very excited. I don't excited. know yet. I'll check back in I'm in a very couple excited. weeks. I want to if they stay healthy, if both teams stay healthy, that's going to be. Yeah. Because, you know, we went to that barbecue at Kyle Juszczyk's. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that was the first thing Juszczyk and Kittle said to Shane. Yeah, yeah. we're coming. They're like, we're coming for the Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> and I was standing behind Shane being like, <laughs> 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 say it loud. Yeah, I was pissed. God. I still think we're facing like a, a generation of Boston fans that are going to be a problem. What do you mean? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay, people love pasta, but they have okay. People love pasta, but they hate the baggage that comes along with it—the bloated feeling after consuming a bowl of spaghetti, the hunger that sets in an hour after eating six ounces of empty carbs, the tension between eating healthy and enjoying what they eat. Okay, skinny. It's skinny. That's the name of this pasta. It's called It's Skinny. It's Skinny Pasta, the nine calorie, zero net carb noodle. It's Skinny makes you feel fuller and uh, for longer because our pasta is uh, skinny on ingredients. Okay. They've got five all natural, plant based, non GMO, gluten free ingredients. Skinny is empty on carbs. A healthy serving of fiber means zero net carbs. It's Skinny on calories, four and a half calories per serving. Conventional pasta has a recommended serving size of two ounces, which is 200 calories of mostly empty carbs along with it. All right. So the skinny, it's skinny is pasta. That's fantastic. We're going to be shooting a look at dish with it's skinny. We're going to be making a whole meal with it. So you'll get to see us taste test it and you'll get to find out how to cook it and all that stuff. It'll be great. Um, it's skinny pasta was designed to mirror the taste and texture of conventional pasta with the lowest calories per serving in the pasta category. That means you no longer have to make a decision between achieving your fitness goals and indulging your love for pasta. At the end of the day, you'll fill up on the stuff on top of your pasta and not the empty carbs in conventional pasta. I'm trying to lose weight right now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to fucking get thin again. I'm trying to not drink and go to the gym every day and not have empty carbs in my diet. Yeah, it's skinny. I'm skinny. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping to say, I guess. Jesus. Uh, we know you'll love It's Skinny Pasta as much as we do, and we're offering an exclusive deal to all podcast listeners. Use promo code STUFFISLAND25 at itsskinny.com, and you'll save a fabulous 25% on your first purchase. That's skinny.com, I T S. S K I N N Y dot com with promo code Stuff Island 25 to save 25% on your first purchase. All right, it's skinny. Also, Patreon. Actually, this will be public. We're going to release a public episode, right? Of, uh, of it's skinny for you to watch. We're going to be making a delicious meal with it's skinny pasta. All right, ship station. The holidays are the busiest busiest time of the year. Don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting so you or your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll have a great experience because the returns are easy. Whether you're shipping from your house or multiple warehouses, ShipStation can increase your holiday profitability. Profitability. I had a few beers before this, so I'm missing some consonants. Yeah, I think our team uses ShipStation. We use ShipStation for a little bit. I want to reach out to ShipStation and see if they can hook us up with a nice deal. Maybe I'll enter in the promo code. Um. <clears throat> You can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. Effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation manages orders, prints labels, compares rates, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notifications. ShipStation has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. Get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates, okay? Over 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce business with ShipStation, and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So if you've got a little business where you're whittling things or you're painting things or you're 3D printing things and you want to send them to people, or you're making clothes, maybe you're a fashionista. Yeah. Or, yeah, all right, ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use Stuff Island today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, 
code stuff island. Get it. Free 60 day trial. You can make so much money in 60 days. Because it's like not all those understand. kids. Like the, all the kids that were born Grew in the last 20 years. Yeah. Don't understand not losing. Yeah. Yes. It's like a hot chick with giant and fucking heaters. Yeah. yeah. She's beautiful. And then she gets to college and something goes awry. God, the fucking. And you're like, you got the nothing there. Pop, yeah. They're going to be, it's going to be 20 years. She's like a hairdresser. <laughs> Dude, my grandma's like that. Snorting fucking my grandma's pills. 95 yeah. and. She's hot again? No, but yeah, now she's so hot. <laughs> we could tell in the in the 30s Don't and 40s, she was a hot lady. Yeah. But that's all she had. Yeah. That's all they were allowed to have. Yeah. So now her fastball's not there anymore. Yes. And she doesn't get why people are just taking her yard yeah. every throw. <laughs> yeah. She's got to pay for an IHOP every she's time. She's like, I don't understand. <laughs> and you go... Well, I'm going to tell you this right now, lady. The last time you were fuckable, Mussolini was in power. <laughs> yeah. so your nipples you, are yeah. in your socks, my mom. <laughs> That's why people are being rude to you. Yeah, your, yeah. your arm looks like a road map. <laughs> it, looks like a, it looks like the tube in England. It's fucking wild. It's, you're, pretty, you're exactly right. Boston fans are not going to understand why we don't care if they lose. Yeah. Because yeah, it's like, it's like it's like if, if at twenty Christmas just got canceled. You're like, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> like, no, we don't celebrate that anymore. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I'm, I grew up. <laughs> we do it every year. The greatest Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> That's so so true. true. There is none. Yeah, no, no more no. presents. There's no more, no yeah. more presents. Yeah. You got them all. You, you got, got them when you were young. Yeah, yeah get we a got, part-time job. Uh, fucking, yeah. we got to fire everyone, rebuild, see if we can get Christmas. <laughs> we're gonna actually go homeless. <laughs> we're gonna go move out. We gotta sleep outside now. That was like uh, how I felt as a San Francisco Giants fan. Because growing up, we lost in 89 against the A's and then lost in 03 or 04 against the Angels. Fucking rally monkey. And then it was like, we're never going to win a World Series. And then they won 10, 12, 14. Yeah. And I saw a San Francisco Chronicle article where they were like, yeah, young Giants fans think this is just what happens. Every other year yeah. you win the World Series. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, I, I somehow I like went down a rabbit hole. I watched like a 35 minute documentary about Tim Lincecum that someone just made dude. on YouTube. That dude's career Nuts. was insane. The dude. clause that his dad had in his original contract that he would not work with a pitching coach, that he would not change his delivery style. Oh, I didn't even know. Because about he that. was throwing such hot, hot heat that there his dad was like, Don't fuck with his mechanics. Yeah. Because he would do that wind up thing, but then it ended up like hurting him yeah of yeah, yeah. So he had to like learn how to throw again yeah like powerful dude, <laughs> dude. tim Lintz, there was a girl and i will not say her name <laughs> there was a girl who had who was tall and skinny looked like a kebab crane she had a nose she was a handsome woman Giant ears. <laughs> yeah. she had ears and then long like black hair that went down to like right at her shoulder length yeah. or whatever joe list and i were drinking at cabin bar this is like 09 2010 <laughs> we're drinking at cabin and we're like getting a beer and we're waiting to get shots. And she comes up to the bar and Joe just goes, what's up, Tin Lincecum? And then turns back and it got me. It got me directly in the chest that I had to go outside. So I was like, dude, I never realized that girl looks exactly like Tim Lincecum. I was like, dude, list, list hit me with that. I was like, I can't breathe. I can't so breathe. Funny. Just every time you're around her, you're like, you put this hat on? Yeah. Can you? <laughs> Can you take a picture with me? <laughs> Dude, they had Lincecum for like five years in a row pitching like 240 innings a year. It was yeah. nuts. It, like, Him and Matt Kane threw like every time, every, almost every game. <laughs> yeah. Insane. I think the average is like 160 or something. Now, you're, you're super into lacrosse. Yeah. Have you gotten anyone, has he gotten you to get into it at all? I watch when Drexel plays because we went to Drexel. Yeah. So Drexel's a good squad. But like pro... You also watched the national championship a couple of years ago, and it was a fucking sick game. I just i i i support i support my boys what yeah, he loves. That's fun. If I come out and he's watching lacrosse championships at nine thirty in the morning, I'm gonna crack a beer with him. That's so fun. I'm gonna ruin my like, whole afternoon. Dude, just jumping in on something and being like, also oh, lacrosse oh. is fun because they score thirty goals combined. Yeah, both yeah. teams. I just can't. Every time I try to watch it, I, it's like following it. You're like, who's got it? Whoop. Yeah, and then yeah. like a move. Yeah. You know? no, yeah, don't yeah. try and. It was learn like the watching rules. early UFC, where you're like, "Why is he? Why is he in pain?" <laughs> yeah, and you're like, that guy grabbed his arm. You're like, "I didn't even yeah. see that happen." Yeah, <laughs> there's didn't like, even know he did that. There's sort of like 
there is sort of a problem. Like when I show people lacrosse, I kind of realize why it's hard to get into. Is it the whitest you ever feel? It's, yeah, uh, of course. It's more just like it's one of those things where I know how hard what they're doing is, but to the untrained eye, this looks like the stupidest game. You sound like me explaining professional wrestling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, no, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. These guys are basically stuntmen. Yeah. 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 But they're in glitter and baby oil, and you go, it's a little gay. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> but like, Follow me. Yeah, like even if I show someone like a highlight reel of stuff, like the goal is looks so big and the goalie's not wearing any pads people watch it and they're just like why don't they just do that every How? time why don't they just throw yeah. it at the net and score How yeah, you could say that about any sport like you watch football every sunday some highlight will come on the screen yeah in red zone and i'll go do you understand the athleticism that requires yeah to spin around going 18 to 20 miles an hour catch a ball while someone's smoking you the way they react to it like a, a highlight People just like, did he catch it? Good catch. Yeah. It's like, no, that man ran through traffic. That's a Marvel highlight. Yeah, just got hit yeah. by a car and yeah. caught a ball. And you, were, you, If I lobbed car keys to you, you fat fucking idiot, <laughs> you'd fumble them yeah, in front dude. of your wife. Yeah. And, and it's then, like, my favorite is when people talk shit to those guys like they yeah, can yeah. do that. Dude, we Whether, had an idea for this. Me and McKeever had a pilot for Sports Illustrated. that We had a sports show yeah. where they gave us money to do a pilot. And one of those was we'd take t tweets. And I think another show eventually did this. No, Katie Nolan did it. My fiance. Really? She, <laughs> she did, did it this? on Fox Sports. She took guys that tweeted. So she, you're saying she stole our bit? I'm saying, I think you took <laughs> her wanna, bit. Do you want to? Yeah. I'm thinking you took this her bit. This is 10 years ago, dude. <laughs> right around the same time? Except, dude. Sports yeah. Illustrated sold my bit to Katie Nolan. No, she <laughs> created the bit and you steved it from her. Yeah. yeah, so she the took kickers you, off Twitter. And had yeah. them, well, McAfee's doing it now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm, it, listen, it's not. It is weird though. I'm not recreating. It is wheel. crazy in that kind of area because she yeah, did a thing where, where she took tweets from people talking shit to kickers and flew them out. And was like, can you? This is the length. Yes. Kick the field goal. Yes. And they were like, yeah, not oh. doing it. Yeah. Dude. Any any capacity, any sport. Yeah. Well, well yes. how hard do you think this is? The f baseball, dude. Hit the a fastball. These pitchers, just a fastball. Let alone a backdoor slider or fucking well, dude, a slur or whatever they're calling it. People, yeah. people who have never actually been to a game and seen someone kick the ball. It's like it's like looking at pictures of the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Like yeah. You're, you, you can't <laughs> grasp I can that. How, yeah, 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 I'm going to yeah. die if I don't have a dude, donkey. We, yeah, when you're at the game, <laughs> when you're at the game and you see someone kick that ball, you're like, I, what the fuck it's, was that? Yeah, yeah, that's... There's certain things in sports where you're like a free throw with the game on the line, and someone's like, "Yeah, you miss a free throw." You're like, "Yeah, it seems easy yeah. in a vacuum." Yeah, I yeah. still do that. How long until, <laughs> how long until black people are dominating lacrosse? I've been asking this, Dan. Because uh, skateboarding, I, I, want... I, I called skateboarding. I don't want to be one of these guys, dude. I called, I called black kids yeah, dominating yeah. skateboarding about 20 years ago, dude. It's like baseball needs translators in the locker room right now. Yeah. For white guys <laughs> or for Dominicans and shit, dude. Yeah, yeah it's for like, white journalists. Yeah, the scholarships I cannot wait. are there, dude. You want to go to Harvard, Princeton, like go. fucking. But Jim yeah, Brown yeah. was one of the greatest. Duke, they changed the rules because of Jim Brown. Did he was they? one of the greatest lacrosse players of all time at Syracuse. Yeah. He used to just hold it against his chest and steamroll yeah, well, yeah. all those honks, <laughs> all these honks yeah. trying to cat tackle him. He's like, man, I'm Jim Brown. WWF lacrosse, dude. I love it. It is a thing. Anytime there's like, I might be wrong about that fact but that's what been i've been told that by lacrosse players i mean hey, katie I, I so sorry it. for stealing your bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so funny well, i was like i think i've seen it before she, he's like yeah my fiance yeah. yeah i don't know one or an emmy I'll check at dates. fox i'll check fucking you dates. know what's crazy though is there's like she's had shit legit like lifted yeah I bet. and then confronted people and they've been like yeah i stole it no really yeah she did a thing before she left espn it was like the pro bowl of 2019 where she went around with pictures of dudes and showed it to NFL players and she said, Is this a contestant on The Bachelorette or an NFL kicker? And guys couldn't do it. <laughs> guys were wrong. Got, one guy got his own teammate wrong. I think it might have been Tucker on the Ravens. Yeah. They're like, I don't know, Bachelorette. He's like, that's Justin yeah. Tucker, your kicker. Yeah. And she like had a she Tucker's had a, hot for a kicker. Yeah. He's a good looking yeah. kicker. But then someone went and just immediately ripped well, it off. I, I feel like that is dude, it's a Gaza strip yeah. out here. You hear yeah, these yeah. birds? I don't know. I know. It, these these I'm watching it. It's nuts. Oh, really? Is there protest? I, when I walked over here, there was just a helicopter up in the sky. 
Uh, I felt yeah. like fucking Leo. Well, they're not Goodfellas. checking, <laughs> dude. They're not checking ninety-five traffic. <laughs> I don't know. They're getting going updates. on. Yeah, BQE's jam. We got a we got a <laughs> <laughs> we got a jam on BQE. Five forty-five. My feelings on Israel and Palestine. <laughs> Or also jam. Yeah, it's also that's the craziest. You said the, say the wrong thing from the traffic cop, yeah. and just a the, missile comes up. You got to got to bring it down. Or he goes, and I'm just gonna say the liberation of people should be at the top priority. <laughs> 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 dude it's celebrities <laughs> opening their mouths i think that's what uh, we learned from everything dude, is like let's uh, go shut the shut fuck the up yeah. fuck up shut up nobody you cares amy schumer also nobody watching gives them, a fuck watching them pander to be like is this the right one that's not the right yeah. one is this the right one <laughs> no. shit dude. dude i was joking that it's like i saw that news and it's just like it's like when the groundhog sees his shadow. Yeah. You're just like, all right, 400 more years of fucking <laughs> yeah. religious conflict. Here we go. Really? Well, they're not going to spat that up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your aunt and your uncle fighting at a family thing. He goes, he hit her in front of the family. <laughs> yeah. They're going to hate yeah. each other for another five yeah. years. Yeah. We don't know. That'd be great if the uncle on. came in and was like, I'm going to avoid any conflict for family parties for the next 40 days. <laughs> I, can't, I can't handle the stress of what's Me going on. Me and Gloria yeah. have a yeah. ceasefire. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Carl, you smacked her in the face. <laughs> Thanksgiving. We don't know what he gives a fuck if you take a break from social media. Yeah. You fucking I got dumb. a step back. I wonder yeah. if people I are doing I can't handle that. this. Do Dude. you think people outside of the entertainment industry are starting to like talk like the entertainment industry? I bet industry? it's worse. I bet it's worse. Dude. Like people Because I think they ingratiate themselves with what, what goes viral, right? And they read this message going like, there's some fucking Debbie in Delco right now being like, I have to get off Facebook because what's going on in the world is really driving me insane. It's yeah. affecting my softball relationship with my daughter. Just shut up, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah. one's asked you for anything outside of pumpkin pie during the series. Yeah, yeah. At the, her statement at a Little League game. I've prepared a statement about Israel and Palestine. <laughs> yeah. and they're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, I, I had yeah, a friend. Dear Don, <laughs> I had a friend that was like in like is in that kind of world where like every social media post has to like be put into just the context world of like context. world events. Yeah, yeah. And so she like she just went on a trip somewhere, like on a vacation somewhere, and like wanted to post all the vacation photos, but had to, but had to be like under. The We're going through a lot right now as a, as a world. <laughs> yeah. But every once in a while, there's nice moments. And I'll it's just tell like, you. <laughs> just her and drinking pina coladas. Yeah. The yeah. Sandals Resort <laughs> in Barbados yeah. Yeah. was our little getaway from the Gaza Strip. Yeah. If only we could bring the whole Gaza Strip to Sandals, <laughs> there would be no more conflict. Dude, stop. Not everything is about. That's what you're like learning is everyone, mm -hmm. like the more social media you consume, you're like, everyone thinks it's always about them. Yeah. I mean, we do it, of everyone course. does it. And then you're like, Oh man, it sucks. But if you don't feel disgust posting a picture or a video, knowing like you play the algorithm game, going, yeah, here's a clip from the podcast because the podcast is what we do, but you still feel gross all the time. Imagine yeah. being a regular person just like posting a hot pic. I jerk off to the idea of in the '80s they didn't have to record every joke there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> oh fuck, I can come up with tags for yeah. months. And then you oh, got fucking, fucking I bet these, these kids in Boston, they're going to be at their construction jobs being like, yeah, yeah you're not going to get a, you yeah. know, get a load of this one. Dude, <laughs> Two I blacks love walk into a bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they rob it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one can hear but the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I think it's like, uh, I hope all of it's saved somewhere so when civilization ends, people can find it and be like, oh, they went nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're they just went <laughs> nuts at the end. It might get worse. Until these sex robots come out. Oh, man. And then you're going to watch. everybody. You just want it. Yeah, it'll go back down. And then they Social take over. Social media, you know, yeah. And then they'll take over. Every, no one knew Terminator was actually going to be hot Japanese fuck bots. That's how we're going to get taken yeah. over. They're, we're going to think it's another sex bot that we're going to dump in. Dun, dun, and dun, 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 dun. Just I'm headshot, to, heart shot. I'm here to suck you and fuck you. Yeah. And you go, oh, okay. Yeah, come on in, yeah. baby. Oh, is that your mission? <laughs> <laughs> my mission is to uh, my my CPU is an SEX chip. <laughs> I'm a fucking computer. Like, oh, oh. Just getting, everyone's Dude, getting cum. They just milk us. This is how the fucking Russian spies started. It really was. They yeah, were like, they were like, be hot, 
poke a martini at a bar, a lounge in fucking Belarus. Yeah. Some dirtbag that's in charge of dropping bombs wherever you live is going to be like, yeah, what's all, baby? And then she's going to be like, I'm going to suck your cook. Yeah. And you get upstairs, she blows some fucking cyanide in your face. You're bonzo. You're bonzo for life. She goes back down, pokes a drink again, waiting for another, another guy. to come around. Getting all these secrets. Yeah. She got the secrets out of your yeah. briefcase. <laughs> yeah. I saw a fucking tweet about uh, there's a there's a, a factory in like Pittsburgh, animatronic factory that got like eight hundred billion dollars from the American government. What's going on there? Yeah. You're building sex robots to take over the world? I hope it's so. The only, <laughs> it's the only excuse. Yeah, yeah. I hope why so. Why else would you go to Pittsburgh? That's why they hide it in shitty towns. Well, because they know all those steel workers have that work they have that work ethic. Yeah. Where they're like, I'm gonna build pussies forever. <laughs> you just don't even know. Yeah, I yeah. built four hundred fuck bots <laughs> <laughs> over here at the one thirty three. Yeah, it's like dude. the pipe fitter. Like, I do three things. Dude. I cheer for the Steelers, <laughs> I love my family, and I build fuck bots. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, my brother's in the union. He says that shit all the time. I love we'll it. We'll be on 95 passing like a giant stadium. Like, I did the lighting in there. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's you know uh, that museum? I did all the, all the H back in there. Unions are it's just. Like you didn't build that fucking building. Dude. Unions are just. I make that thing light up every Saturday, 8 yeah. to 12. <laughs> I fucking put the you know, hard work. Feel this nobody, else knows, nobody else knows how to do it besides me. Yeah. Yeah. They are work gangs. They're yeah. just work gangs. Oh, They're yeah. like, what you rep, son? Yeah. Like, 123. We yeah. Get at it. Get at me. Yeah. Walk ass buster. You ain't even laced some towel, yeah. Local 98, bitch. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, shit, flex. Oh, flex. I ain't no union buster. I ain't no rat. <laughs> More Except kiss instead, rat. Of, instead of the hand signs and the dance, it's like fucking just how you eat a sandwich. Yeah. 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 Dude, that's not even, <laughs> the cheese isn't even melted. You're like, damn, you are from these streets. Yeah, that's what I was miss about Queens is walking in, walking into a deli in Queens and seeing a guy that got crushed in 9-11 and then like a bunch of firefighter badges and you're like, the sandwich is gonna rock right, ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Extra flavor. And then like a Mike Piazza sign. Yeah, something. <laughs> Vinny Testaverde ate me once, 2004. That was three years after we lost my brother. <laughs> like, I know. Can you put gravy on the chicken cutlet again? Because that shit blew my mind. Just being completely learning about that, living in Queens, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is awesome. There are a couple secret delis around here that are. Locked in time. It's great. There's one around the corner, Cerizos. We did a, a look at this. Oh yeah. Wish we got to have you on soon. Dude, Obviously, been, I've been dying. To I, eat know, that I know. I know. It's coming. It's like it's food porn. It's coming. You guys dude. put it on. I'll be in a hotel on the road, and you'll put up a new clip, and I'll be like, <laughs> "It's coming, Danny." <laughs> yeah, there's a place around the corner. These guys are, I, that, they're true wops. I know, dude. It's nuts. I know. Should we shut the doors? That sound. We're like, hello. Welcome back to <laughs> What's Up Gaza. <laughs> this would be this would be exactly the time when World War Three would start. We're that all doing would a be podcast. So you know, well, can we do the reads first? No, no, it was going for thirty minutes before we even knew what it was. <laughs> Katie's like, Katie's like, where are you? They shot down, shut down the bridges. I go, we we're ripping on a cast. Yeah, there's no. <laughs> Turns out they stole your bit. I don't know, dude. Hey, do you know McKeever and fucking Tommy yes. did your kicking bit? Did you steal that? Babe, did you yeah, steal that? Yeah, you tell me the truth and right now. We're, we're in an argument as cell phones are getting shut down. <laughs> oh, you would never believe me. But, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, just people are just getting all the bread. Yeah, the bread and water and toilet yeah. paper. <laughs> We're like, oh, this, my dick's been weird lately. Yeah. <laughs> so you think the 49ers are going to be pretty good in a couple months? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is like you see that shit in the Middle East, and as an American, you're like, oh, things aren't. Horrible. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's, things nice. are, it's like things it's can more... be bad for somebody, but you look at that and you go like, <clears throat> "Oh, all right. Well, I'm not covered in dust holding my baby." Uh, yeah, that's it's when watching it is. Mari Povich yeah. after college when you yeah. can't find a job for like the first six months. You're like, "I'm good." That's why those yeah. shows are so important. That's they why are Springer important was so soci- important. My dad, important. my dad being a loser alcoholic, dying of drinking himself to death. <laughs> Could still put on Springer and be like, look at these fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You abandoned two families. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm not this, this fucking guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. This guy was fucking his sister. Yeah, it <laughs> could like, be worse. Could be fat. <laughs> 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 these idiots. And you go, He's coughing You're up the worst parent known to man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not raising someone else's kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think the baby's mine. <laughs> 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 like, <they're> like, <laughs> Got Still, got it. Still got it. <laughs> ah, they can't beat old gear. <laughs> no matter how many legal proceedings they throw at me. Do you miss the bonfire? Do you miss podcasting so consistently? 
Yeah, I miss I miss Jay and the crew. Yeah. I miss hang, I miss the hang. Yeah. Um, I'm starting a new one. It's just me and a guest. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna like I'm 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 starting it in a couple weeks. I think. Really? Yeah, I bought all the Can equipment. Can you promote it now? This will come out in two weeks. I don't know if it'll be out in two weeks, but it'll be out within like into when this comes out. It'll be coming in the next couple weeks. That's fucking great. It's dude. called Soder. It's just me and a guest. That's awesome. And it's uh, it's just to promote gigs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Do people need somewhere to land. It's yeah. gonna be a half hour. Well, it's like masturbate. Nice. You gotta get the juice out. Yeah, it's just a half hour. So it's like listen to it on your ride to work or like when you're going to the grocery store. Yeah. It's not like a four hour podcast where you're like, I yeah. forgot what happened. It's like thirty minutes that I'm gonna have I'm gonna edit. Yeah. So I'm gonna like record an hour and just put out a half hour and be yeah. like, Oh, here you go. Cause I joined the podcast thing at the end. I'm opening a VCR store in two thousand two. <laughs> I go, I'm telling you, these tapes. Yeah. You learn how to you learn how to build them. Yeah. That's where the money is. You can put porn on these. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be different colors. I got a red one. Yeah, Dude, it clear, was, my dad taped over one of my championship games for Drexel Raiders with porn. Oh no. Good yeah. porn? Uh, no, it was horrendous porn. Was I it mean, bad? But it was good good for 80s. Yeah, yeah. it was like 87, 88. And did you when did you discover it? Cuz we had a he had a, a big shelf of all of my two older brothers and then my <clears throat> we'd run. Let's just say that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'd run. My brother won 7 of 7 championships, 7 years in and in, football. Yeah, and peewee football. I won 5 out of 7. Brother? The oldest won like 4 out of 7. You won how many? I won five out of seven. And years. your oldest brother won. And I seven. lost one year in the championship. And you're a quarterback. Middle, yeah, middle brother, seven out of seven. So we had a fucking dynasty. Shackle. Dynasty. Now hold on a second. We were Boston. All and now I'm trying to figure out what to do with my. Now life. you know why. <laughs> all were you and all your brothers all quarterbacks? No, my middle brother was a wide receiver. The uh, the union worker was a lineman. Nice. Locked that makes sense. Skull. Yeah. Get down in the mud. Dude. Yeah, he was a he was a muck. I did you play pop Warner football? Yeah. Did were you good? Uh yeah. What we like You're running we, back, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I was MVP, baby. Let's Damn. go. Yeah. I am I also played D line. Really? Yeah, I just was a little scrappy. Dude, crazy. No, no, because you're I was so quick. I could just yeah, shoot, shoot the gas. Get, yeah, yeah. I was Palomalu, dude. dude the just, you had the long frizzy hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Chris O'Connor. Something over the line. Why yeah. does he have Polynesian hair? <laughs> <laughs> I was the opposite. I was on Nothing but losers. Oh, no. I did nothing but lose. No. Were you D line? I played outside linebacker. Were you tall? In center because my coach was stupid. Yeah. I should have played tight end. You were always my probably large, though, right? What's that? You were always taller than everybody. I was tall else. and long. I yeah. had zero business on the O line. Yeah. Didn't have, and my dad, <laughs> one of the only things he ever said to me about sports was I was like, I'm playing football. And he goes, Tell them tight end. Yeah. Like, tell them to put you a tight end. You're quick. And you're tall and you can catch. Makes sense. And I was like, okay. He just closes the bedroom door. <laughs> no, he wasn't even there. He was on the phone and he goes, all right, yeah, I'm going. Goes, Anyways, who is this? Yeah. I go, it's your son. Yeah. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah. Tight end. Hey, tight end. He was at a Brent diner Jones. in Cincinnati. Also, I want 25 on the Giants. I go, I, 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 Dad, I'm at home. <laughs> what does that mean? Give me the uh, Giants minus two. <laughs> but it, I went to Little League practice and my, I was like, I'm going to play tight end. And my coach was like, no. You're a center. I was like, why are you putting me at center? And then I just get ran through. Dude, oh. we got crushed. We lost. I used to have a bit about it. I did it on John Oliver's stand-up. We lost 116 to zero. No, you didn't. That's impossible. It's yeah, very no, possible, it's Tommy. Possible. 116 to zero? When my, my, when my brother started football, 100? did he just grab the ball yeah. and throw it backwards so they could pick it up and run in his end They would do that. They would just plow <laughs> through. Poor Thomas McDonough. Who I just saw in Chicago came out to a show. Oh. Him and his him and his wife. Was and, he the quarterback? Yeah, <laughs> Tommy McDonough. Tommy McDonough, and he had like a, a crew cut. Of looked, course, they all look like look like Johnny Unitas. Yeah, and I was his center. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> he got crushed. He got, <laughs> he got crushed on almost every single play. There, if there He's was got a like play, lacerated kidneys. Was, <laughs> yeah, dude, his insides are marked up. <laughs> Because of me, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he hurts on a cloudy day because of yeah. that game. I mean, he got we got absolutely butchered. Silent ride home, yeah. Silent. Yeah. Yeah. My mom going like this. Just occasionally, I would sigh in the back seat, and she'd be like, 
you want to go to Blockbuster? Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, <sighs> <laughs> you dude, 116 to zero. That's insane. I was in the AYL in Aurora. So people can look at Spartans football. We were the worst Spartans team because they had like Spartan purple. They were the good team. We were Spartan gold. Oh, we oh so there was like an A and B situation. Yeah, we not an A and B. We were the newer team. Yeah, they had been around since like fourth grade, and yeah. we were the sixth grade team when it started. So they, it was like, you know what it was? It was an expansion it was, team. It was expansion. <laughs> it was the Bad News Bears. If it was honest, yeah. If the Bad News Bears was honest. There's no moment where it turns around. Yeah. You yeah. just keep yeah. getting your shit pushed. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I love that. When my brother started, it was like it was an expansion yeah. team. And they got absolutely <laughs> rolled. Dude, we would every single game. And then when he finally became when in sixth grade, when like him and all his friends were like the oldest kids in the league, they they won the championship and it was like <sighs> Dude, it was coming. It that. was like one of the best days of my life. We had zero to hero. And then our team didn't win again until me and all of my friends were sixth grade. And then we won it. And we, yeah, it was sixth, seventh, eighth grade, right? Yeah. Combined record. <laughs> it's eight games a season. Combined record, one and 23. Oh, my God. Oh, who, the year we won a catch, game was... Who'd you catch sleeping? <laughs> the game after we lost 116 to zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we go, guys, they look it's, past you. We go, guys, it's ebbs and flows. It's ebbs and flows. That team probably just you felt know, so bad. They're like, just it's give like them a It's like letting a slow kid score yeah. every time. Yeah, they, go, boys, yeah, yeah. they go, listen, boys. They go, listen, boys. Suicide rate's going to go up unless yeah. we drop this one. Yeah. Dude, it was... <laughs> it was more of a community effort. It was watching yeah. my mom and her boyfriend bring a thermos of rum and coke to the yeah. game <laughs> at like 10 a.m. <laughs> on a Saturday at, at, at the park by our house. God, those just were being the days, like, dude. You guys are going to get butchered. <laughs> no. It was brutal. Dude, uh, yeah. So that's why I met your family. So Pee football dynasty. was the greatest. I wrote an article at the uh, New York Times about, really? about Pee Wee football when the Eagles were going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Because it, it was big on CTE. Yeah. And it was. Well, you know, they did the scientific study and they say nine year olds. Hit at the same velocity yes. as Division One yeah. football players. Yeah, they're fucking what? The, the the trauma on their brain from smacking into each other. Yeah, and also is the, the same vol uh, like what? However, that's measured in physics. I don't know. Yeah, and also the fucking the equipment. The equipment in the early '80s was like the exterior shell of a skittle. Well, you're fucking smacking yeah. heads going as fast as you can. I forget yeah. who I talked to. Someone that played in the NFL. I did a podcast with them, and I asked them about helmets. It was Amani Tumor. I did like a um a a podcast pilot or whatever and we were on like a panel together and i and he said he was playing against the packers and took a hit so hard he doesn't remember the second half yeah he just remembers the plane ride home and i was like what happened and he's like i think the helmets changed he's like they started making them lighter yeah. and better for and he's like and concussions went i think there's like a specific year you can find it yeah but that shit's like those guys are warriors anytime mm -hmm. i see anybody like i remember when shane showed me the first when we first started hanging out, he showed me a picture of him in pads from high school, and I was like, oh, you were a monster. monster. Yeah, yeah. Like, you see that, you're like, you saw the neck roll and the visor, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, you were, f and he was like, yeah, I was recruited D1. You're like, people don't, people who are not in sports, Yeah. I sucked so bad that to me, I'm like, that's insane. Yeah, it is. I was just the funny guy on the kickoff team. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'll go smash into him. And they're like, hey, do a voice. I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> and then I just go fucking get crushed. I, that's where I learned I was funny. It was I was the funny guy on, I was like, I sucked at athletics. I was just like, I can make them all laugh. Yeah. At football camp, like, they'd be like, Yo, Soda does prank phone calls. And I'd be like, you guys, you guys want me to yeah, go prank yeah. phone calls? <laughs> Pizza <laughs> prank? Do you, guys, will you guys take it easy in Oklahoma? If I do a little yeah, prank, yeah. Prank, prank phone call? Just waiting to get back to the dorm after two days. Yeah, I'd be like, like, oh, where do they just do these calls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, playing, I'm coming up in the huddle. I'm coming up with prank phone calls. I go, uh, I got it. Yeah. I got a retarded kid that's trapped in the closet. And I'll call the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting rocked. <laughs> I'm just getting out and going, ah. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I was just thought of a prank phone call that came in the bottom of that pile. You're wondering if you can still do the voice on the sidelines. That one caught me. Yeah. No, no, that's that's not cool, dude. It was it was like the best thing for me ever was being humbled through sports. Yeah, same. Because most of the stories, like you guys, have winning stories, and that's great. And I love you know. Well, it's also losing in other sports. The yeah. point is, it's more about camaraderie, learning about. But you also learn, like, oh, how to exist in a social setting. A yeah. million when times you're over. not good at something yeah. and you learn how to survive in that social setting, you're like, oh, it's kind of important for life. Yeah. 
Because yeah. I also sucked at every other job I had besides stand up. Yeah, yeah. someone already sucked at that. Yeah. Everybody does. Definitely. But <clears throat> it uh, it was like losing 116 a year. That's crazy. That's crazy that That's you walk rough. with such confidence. <clears throat> But also, it's like you play long enough. They broke up. us, dude. dude it, I hope this, I hope this my chopper. dad died in ninth grade, and I was like, that wasn't as bad Let as me tell you zero. <laughs> One of these fucking choppers lands in our backyard. I'm sending you. Yeah, I'll go out there. Yeah, Guys! <laughs> dude, I think you're fighting the wind. What's the problem? Uh, we're looking for that sucker. Yeah, 116 bullets to zero. Can you keep it down? We're trying to do a podcast. We're talking about... And then my tweet goes, I did not know those helicopters had guns. <laughs> What's going on in Israel is a real crime. <laughs> Dude. I can't believe Yeah, when I talk to people, I'm like, you won those car rides home where you were just like, that was fun. I dominated. Yeah, but at, like I, I experienced kind of the other side of it, too, where it's like I remember we won, we won a championship in eighth grade, and I remember the coaches being like, enjoy this. Because it doesn't always, like, it doesn't come around all the time. Yeah. Championship wins are rare. And I remember being like, dude. Guy. You know who you're talking to? We just won three in a row. Last time I ever touched a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. so funny. Yeah, 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 you put yeah. on shades, you go, hey, coach, <laughs> make sure you can see it from the sidelines when we're winning. Never won again. You never won again. Oh my god! And Did then you, there's yeah. So when you went to high school, your high school team just sucked. Oh, we sucked. Yeah. Well, because we, my high school team was mm, mid. Yeah. And it felt like I was like, well, so we win, huh? Yeah. No, the high school football team was all right, but I didn't play football in high school. But our lacrosse team was like it was half prep school kids and half public school kids. Yeah. And we fucked everyone in the state up, like. From sixth grade to eighth grade, just murdered everybody. Yeah. And then got to high school, and half the team just went. It's like, we're going to the high school that we're supposed to go to. <laughs> yeah, we're going which to. Which is yeah. the prep. Yeah, yeah. And going we're going to gonna bury school. you fucking dumb public school kids. Yeah, and we just got fucked, dude. We, yeah. When you went to high school, dude, were you guys still winning in football? No. That's what ruined my whole relationship with football. It's great. And we had good coaches. I went to Catholic high school. Yeah. So the only I played football, baseball, and basketball. Damn. And most of the coaches in high school <clears throat> were. Ironically, football was the only sport at Monsignor Bonner where they actually were, they had like legitimate coaches. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all based on like you just said the pods of like your CYO team. Yeah. Your, what they called your parish. Sure. So when you grew up, you're like, what parish are you? St. Charles? Are you Aloysius? Are you fucking St. Dots? Yeah. And depending upon where your parish was is what where you went to high school. Sure. So Tina Fey's high school was up at Arby. That was public, but Bonner was right next door. So if you were any of these Catholic areas, you'd go to Bonner. But if you were above Township Line, you'd go to O'Hara, which was our rival. Sure. Which is where Swift's from. Yeah. No, he's from Prep. Preps are other rivals. Yeah. St. Joe's, yeah. Yeah, so it just depends on location unless you're being recruited heavily. And they only recruit it heavily in other schools. Well, they so took... So we our got, high school would always get guys taken by Mullen, which was like the private... It was like Notre Dame colors. They did everything like Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah, you get money. And then money. They'd, be like, they'd be like, oh, uh, he didn't go to school. He's, uh, like, If he was friends with you, he's like, I'm going to Mullen next year. And you're like, yeah. No, dude, our... Go fight, win. <laughs> our, <laughs> our high school... I get it. I yeah. get it. My, was, uh, my first coach was an algebra teacher in basketball. Our head coach in football was just some schmuck trying to f figure stuff out. Yeah. Our baseball coach was another teacher. Yeah. That's how ours was. It was like they were teachers or security guards. Yeah, or but other schools, they were recruiting just... to like fucking Romania. They were picking kids from like Russia. Like giant white dudes at Carroll would be dunking. And... So it all came down to like the odds. So our baseball team yeah. was ranked nationally our senior year, just by chance, we were really fucking good. My best friend got drafted to the Red Sox. That's awesome. <clears throat> Crazy. Crazy good. But every other team just got fucking smashed. By we your guys' team? By everybody else, dude. Yeah. Everybody else. We we have so many. I played against um, like three different pros at like Roman Catholic. Just an all-black team. Just yeah. a bunch of white guys like fucking. And then, then just be like, <laughs> just, boom! just balls on your forehead. Dude, there's every something other so play. funny about just being absolutely manhandled by someone that goes on to do something. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I played <laughs> my junior year, someone got injured, and they put me in an outside linebacker, and I got absolutely boofed by the right <laughs> tackle who went on to Nebraska. Yeah. And then the tight end that year 
was his not the quarterback Alex Smith, but the tight end Alex Smith who yeah. played at Stanford, yeah. and then he went on to play for the Bucks and in the NFL or whatever. When I tell you this man tossed me around like I was one of his teddy bears, yeah. he would just grab me by my chest plate and be like, yeah. and you're like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my parents my mom stopped going to my games after eighth grade she's like i watched you lose so much yeah i ain't watching it and then i remember coming home and she's like how was it and i was like i got in i gotta go take a, <laughs> I gotta go take a bath in epson salt because i got fucking absolutely manhandled it was philly it was like like delco specifically there were, you you had to play teams that were so rich like mainline teams yeah you'd play so saint joe's prep was rich sure car was richer than than O'Hara was richer than Bonner. Bonner was like bottom of the line. But you'd also play teams like Malvern, which yeah. is mainline fucking. Their team, these kids were getting recruited out of high school to go to, to, to play baseball. Yeah. When we would beat those guys, they couldn't fathom yeah, like, how. How would you do that? How are you? One time I hit a ball to the shortstop who was already recruited from junior year. He was already recruited. Yeah. We we're down. We're, it was tied. Some dude was on. I'll never forget this. I hit on the barrel. I hit this ball as hard as I could, and I was puny. Yeah. I had no weight on me, and it hits it. He had short hopped it, and we ended up winning on that hit. And Malvern's team waited outside of our dog shit locker room as if they were going to fight us because they were so mad they lost. They were so mad they couldn't fathom that we we could possibly beat this. Dude, squad. that's so. That's always like. If you get that opportunity or, or that chance, even to be a, a fan in high school when that happens, when you oh. beat the big bad, when yeah. you beat, like, the looming presence. Yeah, yeah. It was one of the best moments of my life. I didn't even, like I said, I sucked at sports. I didn't play any sports my senior year. I was just getting high. <laughs> uh, but my, my buddy Joey was on the baseball team, and same thing happened similar to what you. All of a sudden, we brought in a pitcher from like another high school and a catcher from another high school. And then that just made our They're team dirty. nasty. And Cherry yeah. Creek was the team. They're, they won everything. Basketball, football. They're, they're still great. It's like yeah. Elway's kid went there. Like Cherry Creek, the Creek Mystique is what they call it. They're like unbelievable. I wasn't playing football because I had to stop to get it. Like I got a job and shit. But I would go to the, my buddies were playing football. We beat Creek in football for the first time since 1985. And this was like 2001. And then we beat them in basketball and in baseball. And they were like, they kept being like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and we're like, I don't know. But my senior year, we beat them for the state championship in baseball on our way to prom. We were like going to prom and we stopped Damn, off. And the fingering rates went up. Dude, it was finger, dude, finger specials, dude. <laughs> it was, everyone was getting popped. Everything was popping off. <laughs> After fucking we beat Creek in the state championship, everyone was coming in with stink pink. Everyone was fucking walking in. It looked like everyone took a bath for 40 minutes. It was wild. But it what was, is going on out there? I should probably tell you guys this. I robbed a bank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. crazy. There's clearly an event. Uh, this is like clearly a like what? What is it? Dude, there's fucking three helicopters outside. I mean, this now you guys can hear it. There's no way. I mean, we are in like Little Morocco or whatever, aren't we? Dude, this, this is like Demolition Man. This isn't <laughs> I normal. I lived in this neighborhood right? for seventeen years. Yes, I've never I've seen never it like heard this. this before. I remember when yeah. the World Cup, when they, I forgot Greece, like did a couple wins. <laughs> wasn't even like this. <laughs> yeah, damn. When, one time this fucking when this, Morocco went to the World Cup this year, it was fucking nuts. Around this is here. the most fun neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the and best. And to watch the World Cup, I, I. I Astoria has so many different. They have the Egyptians, the Greek, mm -hmm. the Moroccans, the Colombians, yeah. and then the World yeah. Cup happens. It's a different street celebrating every day. Every yeah. day, yeah. It's, I try yeah. to explain to people that yeah. you walk to a different part of a neighborhood and people are going nuts. Yeah. yeah, I remember Greece won like the Euro Cup in like 2011. It was a fucking problem. People are going crazy. <laughs> you're like, I, and I don't know what the Euro Cup is. And they're no. like, oh my Euro Cup. And you're like, I don't care. Where's my BZ Grill? Dude, that's beating <laughs> Cherry Creek at prom. Dude, it was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 just free gyros going on. Just everyone's yeah. like, oh, put it more to <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got to go. If you ever get an opportunity to go eat in Astoria with Stavros, yeah. do it. Because he speaks Greek. And they treat you completely so different. Yeah, you go in. My and girl, 
got to know this the hostess of Taverna. Oh my God, Taverna is unbelievable. Every time we go to Taverna, I, we get everything over on Dipmars. It it yeah, the yeah. new one on Dipmars though. There's a new There's one. There's a on new Dipmars. one. They changed location. It's no longer the long yeah. outdoor one. No, it's a smaller indoor, still corner. It's like down like three blocks. If you come to New York City, it's an annex. Come to Astoria to eat. Yeah, of course. I like. Of course. You know Bourdain did a whole episode just yes. in a yes. like really? just in Queens, I think. Dude, but it, like a majority s- of it was in Astoria. There's yeah. seven or eight restaurants that are the best food I've it's ever had. Unbelievable. Yeah. Everywhere I've moved since here, I've been like, fuck. I, yeah. I didn't realize how close LaGuardia was. Dude. And oh, LG, you're getting a flight out of LaGuardia. Oh, dude. Ten minute ride home. I'm, dude. Suck my dick, dude. Uh, well, you know what's crazy is when I when I first moved here, when I first started going on the road, it's before Uber. Cab drivers would get, I'd get into almost fights. Yeah. Because you get in and you'd be like, going to 28th Avenue and 31st Street and Astoria Boulevard. $75. Like, what? You? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And you're like, I know. I'm sorry. Because they want a family of five that's like, we're going to Times Square. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Instead, you're like, two stops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should probably take a bus. Yeah. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And they're like, I waited four days for this cup fair, and now you are going to give me four ninety nine. But then I found out the hustle was you, you just go to the person and they give them a piece of paper that gets them right back to the front of the line. Mm. So then I just started screaming at them because they'd get they'd be like, "No!" and you'd be like, "Shut the fuck up!" Yeah. Well, they still do the hustle. <laughs> you come out of the this gate time. and you can look up what your rate is. We do this. Because you get accosted by separate, he's like, yeah. you're looking for a cab, you want a cab, you're looking for a cab. And you're like, yeah, how much? Because this right here says $12, but I'm not telling you that. And they're like, where do you go? 60 Yeah, they're like $35, $40. Yeah, you go 12 like, Look at this. Go, shit, this man. This is why there's <laughs> yeah, shit, man. No... You fucking got me, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm fucking down bad. <laughs> <Okay>. I need <laughs> this, baby. Well, dude, I've done that, though, at concerts. We went and saw Metallica at MetLife. <sighs> And we waited to the end. We were going to leave. MetLife. Met, like, getting out of MetLife is hell. <laughs> yeah. It's dude. the worst stadium in the United States yeah, no to shit. leave. It's the yeah. vet. Metallica could oh, metal tear lines. an ACL yeah. just playing Oh, my God. They stay. Lars is like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> this I'm down. Terrible. This goddamn turf. <laughs> Who said this was all right? <laughs> and guys, we're back. Pantera is going to be out for the tour. <laughs> They, uh, so we like, we, I went with the whole bonfire crew. This was like a couple months ago when Metallica was here. And I went with the whole, it was like my leaving bonfire gift as I got us all tickets. Like the full new crew, old crew, everyone invited everybody. And we went out and tailgated. But I was like in my head, I'll leave at the encore. I know there's going to be an encore. I'll leave because that bottleneck of MetLife, yeah. you, you are in traffic for three hours to get out of there. Why? And and Big J was like, "No, nah, man, you gotta stay. You gotta stay to the encore." And I was like, "I don't want to." And then Jay was like, "He did that thing, those big blue eyes." Yeah. He was like, "Come on, dude, I yeah. never see you anymore." And I was like, "Okay." And we're like staying there, and he's like, "Just chill with us," because he drove. He's like, "Chill with us in the parking lot for like an hour and a half, and then there won't be any traffic." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "All right, that's a way out of it." And so we're walking out, Gypsy Cab right there. He's like, "I'm going to the city," and I was like, "How much?" And the guy was like. Uh, he told me, and I was like, I'll do it. And he was like, you'll do it. it was me, Jacob, and Andy Fiore. And he was like, you'll do it? And I was like, 150? I'll do it. Uh, and he goes, all right, but I got to get more people. And I was like, how many more people do you need? What's the price that you're going to take to leave right now? Yeah. And he was like, right now, 180. He was like, I'll do it for 180. I was like, do you guys got 30 bucks? Yeah. They had 30 bucks. He was like, go. We were like, go, 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 yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we got to the van. We got back to the city. From MetLife, I'm not lying when I tell you this. 35 minutes. 26 minutes. No. 26 minutes. There was no traffic. We just got in, got out. When I by the I texted Jay, I was like, I just got out of the cab at my apartment. And he was like, <laughs> no fucking way. And I was like, sometimes gypsy cabs are worth it. Yeah, so yeah. If you're like <clears throat> leaving Queens of the Stone Age, Forest Hills and Queens, yeah. 
Katie and I were walking, and I was like, Gypsy Cab, we got to do it. She's like, we'll take the train. I was like, it's now or never. <laughs> it really like a helicopter. You're like, give me your hands. <laughs> we're is, fucking going. Dude, it's fucking done here. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, you, you get out. It's the last chopper out of Saigon. <laughs> uh, if you want to see your family, come, come with me if you want to live. But, dude, do it. We did Gypsy that at cabs, the Phillies game. Yeah, we did. Bring money to blow. If you, oh, I don't drink, yeah. I don't spend money on beers. I'll take an edible, be high as shit the whole concert, and then yeah. just be like... Got a hundred bucks that says you can get me home. Yeah. Because when you're in traffic like that, you're like, I'd be willing to pay anything. You ask the people around you, would you be willing to pay 40 bucks to be home right now? And they're yeah. like, yeah. yeah. It's also how you behave. They know. They know if you're a fucking a Swedish tourist. Yeah, we're like, know, like, so, so you take me to my hotel. <laughs> yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah, 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 500 bucks. Yes. You're like, that is good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then, that, that's when you walk up and you're just like, eh, guy. Yeah. I got to go now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you fucking goes, hold me up. Uh, yeah, go get yeah. three more guys, four more guys. Uh, yeah. Who gives you shit? It's 40 extra bucks. <laughs> oh, my God. She made dinner Start, an hour ago. Yeah. You hold me up. <laughs> you go, buddy, I miss yeah. Tucker. Just interviewed Trump. Yeah, I got to yeah. go watch it. You got to act like they're bothering you. You go, what? What? Why? 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 Yeah. What is it? It's what my is favorite it? New York Say thing. Something. Giving something to somebody that acts bothered by you. What? what? Starting the sentence with guy is guy. just like a straight jab. Guy, <laughs> guy, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Find the right guy. Yeah. And you're like, all right, found it. Listen, guy, <laughs> we're going to go if I'm going to go. It really is. That's the one thing I've learned living on the East Coast, specifically in New York, is that would be my advice to people everywhere else, is just Act like you know yeah. and that you're yes. a little annoyed yes. and you'll win. Yes. Yes. You'll win the confrontation. Yeah, 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 you'll get 30% yeah. off just for the attitude. Yeah. They're going to bring the price down before they even quote you. Years ago, I did House of Comedy in Mall of America or whatever. And I went in and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah these shorts or whatever. And the, and the guy goes, are you from the <laughs> East Coast? And I was like, yeah, I live in New York. And he's like. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. You're just like telling me what you needed. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't care about you. Yeah. I need shorts. That's Imagine how we that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if you live or die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have those in a 36 waist? <laughs> He's like, well, I don't know. Yeah, you're like... I had this fake friendship. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I do love that about New York. Dude, you know what was crazy? We we took the train in uh, in Ireland, and uh, everyone was talking. To each it, other? It was, yeah, it was the weirdest. No. It was like being on like a party bus. Yeah, it was like, so where are you yeah, from? Yeah, you go, uh, I'm from none of your business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I've, I, I was, it was one of those weird things that I don't really think about. Everyone on this, there's like, there's not enough crazy people in Ireland to yeah. get people to shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Dude, I just saw a video uh, from France where this guy steals a phone off someone's table and they film him. They're like following him and they're like, so you have my phone. So you have my phone. And the guy's like, I do not have it. I, I threw it. I do not have your phone. And they're like on the subway or whatever. It's it, They're French people in London. And he's like, I don't have your phone. What if I told you that I threw it away? I don't have your phone. <laughs> and it's like a seven minute video. And they keep arguing the same thing. And guess what resolves the situation? A dude blasting him in the jaw yes. and taking the phone out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah, they yeah. go like, luckily a stranger stepped in. I went, yeah, yeah that." New York, and someone in the yeah. comments goes, in America, that would have happened in five minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. Taking the phone if back. someone steals something on the subway, it's like you, everyone turns into like Agent Smith. Yeah. <laughs> you're they're like, all you're in like their glasses. <laughs> <laughs> the old woman's like, oh, you're absolutely right. Dude, what's going after him? Mr. Anderson, that phone is hers. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Violence, the, the ability for Americans to get violent <laughs> Makes me love yeah. our country in a way. Yeah, I where I go, like, any well, excuse? It yeah. is a solution. <laughs> <laughs> Because the, you saw the people be like, in America, that would have been five minutes. And then all the comments are like, but why? Why would it must be violent? And everyone's like, listen, lady. <laughs> you want your know. phone or not? The sun <laughs> rises and it sets. <laughs> we just got a way of doing shit yeah. over here. You, you take my phone, you, you're going to get punched. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say that that guy hit the dude and then was just like, guy, you don't take people. <laughs> yeah. That's someone else. You don't mow another man's lawn. <laughs> like, like the only American dude on the yeah. Yeah. He goes, I got this. <laughs> you might want to film this. <laughs> <World star. laughs> give me, yeah. He's like, over here, this is going to give me a little bit of clout. <laughs> it's it's amazing to me to watch people be like, because they are. They're more decent in other countries. They're just yeah. more decent to each other. Yeah, yeah. 
I give you a little more lenience. Or they're like, oh, you're a person. You know, they're like, yeah. what do you want from me? You're coming to take something from yeah. me. Yeah, I'll yeah. fucking kill you. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's yeah. like how other countries, like, they, they mandate you go to war, or not war, but you enlist for, like, yeah. 12 to 18 months or whatever. You have to put a year of service in. It's like you should have to go to prison or live in a city that lives like this. Yeah, to know, like, you can get <laughs> During hit. adolescence, 13 yeah. and 15, you should move to New York. Get hit for randomly. Year. Yeah, work in Get some, your backpack work stolen in, out of a bar like all of us have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, work in a deli or Times oh, Square. I'll tell you that. Get fucking robbed. Dude, it sucks. It, it Like, when you first move here and you bring that Midwestern niceness. Yeah. Because you're from Connecticut, so you yeah. are... you. You were close enough to ride the train in and see it. You're from Philly, yeah, yeah. where it's like organically grown. You guys do like homegrown shit there. Yeah. But being from Colorado, everyone was like, hey, how are you? Yeah. And then Arizona was a little <laughs> meaner. Arizona's like, people have rattles where they're like, you want my land. And then I moved here where they're like, don't fucking look at me. Yeah. You're like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I get it. I suck. Well, you're a perfect hodgepodge of all of those. Yeah. 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 No, my, my dad brought that energy to like the suburbs. I love that. <laughs> he's like from the Bronx. So if you like stepped into the crosswalk, you'd be you'd get hit by a cab. <laughs> <So that's, laughs> <Dad. laughs> We're in a place called Pheasants Meadow. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think any cabs. You have to call a cab for it to get here. <laughs> you gotta open the yeah. gate. We're on a green belt. <laughs> what are you talking about? You fucking weirdo. All right, Danny, thank you, yeah. dude. Dude, I love you guys. I yeah, love you too, man. Fun. How's the place been without Papa Shane gone. Ah, it's tough. You're moving up there. He's yeah. moving up. Are you up there already? Not Two weeks. Yet. Are yeah. you haunted by Shane? You're gay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're so <laughs> yeah. gay. I got a, I got a medium coming over. He's going to exercise. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you just see a can of spit, yeah. a can of chaw spit get thrown on her. This ghost comes behind <laughs> He's just behind the TV going, are you seriously watching this? Yeah, are you going to watch this, this shit? This is so gay. Jesus Christ. I'm just sitting up there being like, this is the weirdest thing, but I'm was hearing it, farts. Was it weird? <laughs> I mean, it's because you guys have lived, you and Shane have lived as a core and then you moved in. Yeah. yeah. For like, I've been here for like 10, 11 years. Yeah. Shane was here for like six, five, six. And then it's, so I, similarly, when I lived down the street from you, I was the guy that stayed and everyone rotated out. Yeah. I was the This clubhouse. was Jesse Joyce and John Ozelay. I remember yeah, Jesse that. lived in the back. That middle room was taxidermied with all Jesse Joyce. Jesse Joyce was huge in the taxidermy. Still is, I imagine. Dude. <laughs> I know. Not bro, good. I've known Jesse Joyce for 15 years. Never you don't know about this? him. Oh, my God. I'll text him right this now. This is squirrels? Or no, 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 no. Squirrels. I'm talking bears. He had a half of a bear. He had a fucking jaguar coming out. Torso. He had, he had wall to wall, I'm going to say like 10 feet aquariums. I'm going to call it an aquarium, okay? Because at that size, he had foreign fish that I would have to take care of when he was on the road with like a towel or some shit. Dude, it was nuts. And he had a carpet that was just leopard print. You walked in there. This was his writing room. And he would hit butts. I love End that. over I used, smoke, I used to smoke butts with... Oh, with, my God. Yeah, Jesse and I used to smoke cigarettes outside. Yeah, this is actually before. not paint. This is all from <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He blew out of his lungs. <laughs> That's insane. Because being in... It's weird when you're like when you're the the glue guy when you're the yeah, locker yeah, room yeah. guy and everyone comes in and out. <laughs> yeah, I'm the fuck. I gotta, gotta yeah. keep the changing the locks. I'm the yeah. fuck. Yeah. Tommy's the one that can open the steakhouse in this apartment because he's <laughs> he's a member of the city. You know, like you've had a run. Shane probably could open a car dealership. So could you? But Tommy's gonna have yeah. a lineage of steakhouses. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I was over at two five five five. I was like. Come on down to Soder's. We're going to get you a Nissan. And Wait, then you you were go. under the I was under the, the train. Train with uh Vecchio Vec. for 10 years. Yeah. He was, you know, he was the longest, but I mean, I had like I can name Vic, Mark, Zach, Mike, Pete. We had like guys churning in and out yeah. and you would just like keep the apartment and whenever someone left it was always a little weird. Yeah, of like, course. It had to like readjust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you guys aren't the good news is, is you're not having anyone new move in. No, I won't. You just have this whole place. I will not allow it. And you're upstairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We made it. It's going to be nice. Well, also what you did is you saved the podcast. Yeah. Because you being upstairs is enough breathing room that you're, it's like not going to be a problem. It's perfect. Yeah. 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 And then like, yeah, but it is weird to have someone move and then you're like, it's weird Shane's in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. That is weird. Yeah. I saw a comedy mothership post a clip of Matt bringing up Shane and I was like, 
this feels weird. It does. Yeah. It's like seeing Brady in a Bucks jersey. <laughs> but seeing your ex girlfriend with somebody else. Yeah, you're yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. Do you got to yeah. unfollow him? Yeah, you're like, it still hasn't fully set in yet. I don't think that they're down there. Yeah, yeah. Well, he asked me if I wanted to come down there and do Shane and Friends like yeah. tomorrow night yeah, or he tonight. Said the same yeah. 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 yeah, and I was like, it's too short a notice. But well, I, he's gonna do this. I think he's gonna do this every like four weeks. Yeah, he's gonna be like, hey, well, you know what's great is show. Show. all getting together, <laughs> <and> comparing <laughs> notes about how Shane asks you to do stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's the it's the funniest yeah. thing in the world because if you're friends with Shane, he'll text you night of and be like, hey, come to this. And you're yeah. like, I'm doing something, yeah. and he'll be like, that's gay. Come hang out. <laughs> and you're like, but I'm doing something. Dude, all I, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't know when he was leaving, and then I was on the phone with him. He's like, yeah, I'm gone Tuesday, and I was yeah. like, forever. Yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah, and you're like. Whenever friends of mine move, I do still like like it's elementary school. Well, I think he I got pissed. I'm like I was pissed for a bit. I was like sad and yeah. then I'm mad where <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what's even down there? Joe Rogan's like barely good at karate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start to get mad. You're like, no, is, he, fine. is he gonna watch football with you? <laughs> and then you're like, Matt and Lemare and Gardini are going down there, you're like, okay, that's better, but uh, still. <laughs> At least you're going to have some friends now. At least you're going to have some friends now. Yeah. Still. I just want you to be safe. I just want you to be safe. We're all doing it right now. Just let now. me know you're okay. Just make sure. Sorry you, about what I said yesterday. You don't even like tacos. Yeah, I didn't mean that. Just yeah. call on Gardini and be like, oh, Shane, you doing? What's up? <laughs> McCusker, yeah. what's up? It's Soder. How's it going? Close? How are you feeling? Is he close to you? You guys doing all right? Yeah, that's it's. Uh, so you like it? Vecchione and I check in like um, like the end of the breakup with Vince, Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. <laughs> that's every one of Vecchione and I's meetings for breakfast. Where I go, you look good. Yeah, <laughs> we lived together for ten years. Yeah, and you yeah. stop living, and you're like, you still uh, you still like pasta on Sundays. Yeah, <laughs> you haven't changed. Never changed. Yeah, yeah. never changed. Do you still do a crazy workout that yeah. reminds me of Batman and Batman yeah. Begins. Katie. I brought you an extra packet of mustard. I yeah. know you like it. I, I don't go, do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What? I go, I'm, I'm asking what? Katie to do stuff. I go, hey, Katie, Vecchio used to do bear crawls to stay in shape. You think you could hit a couple for me? <laughs> <laughs> Ever do an old wrestling training? Hey, do you mind running stairs and making me feel weird in our apartment? <laughs> Just go for a casual single leg. <laughs> do it. All right, dude. Yeah, I love you guys. I'm Check gonna, out yeah. Soda. Yeah, the check podcasts out. Yeah, and coming soon. Com yeah, coming it's, soon. It's it's inevitable. I bought the equipment. I spent the money. Let's go. That's, I got to do it. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a short little thing, a little bite sized podcast. I like this. And then dancehoder dot com. Yeah. I'm on the road, baby. Now that I don't got a job, I'm on the road. I love this. <laughs> that is like the only way comedians know how to do things is just like tie a bowling ball to your leg and throw it <laughs> off the bridge. <laughs> you walk in, and you go walk into a bank with a gun, and you go, "Well, now I got to rob it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Pocket, here we go. When I tell you guys how much I love you, it it pales into comparison of how I actually feel. You're the only people I know that could get me back to Queens at 5 p.m. on a Wednesday <laughs> with World War III going on outside. I know. Well, one of these you might be moving come in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Katie, I'm back in Queens. <laughs> Get the dog. We're yeah. having PC grill. That'd be great if the yeah. door just opened. It was Vecchione and Shane. And he goes, and they're like, we've been waiting. It's like heaven. And yeah, like, Katie, this is what you get for stealing my fucking thing. Yeah. And McKeever told me he actually came up with it in 2012 with Tommy. So don't. Well, congrats on everything. I love you yeah. guys. Yeah, I love you too. Love man. you too, man.